Bruh. Um, listen here, this is basic, arithmetic, divide and conquer, so charismatic. Hey, buddy, in the chasing hits like ethics. I'd rather put lead in your ethic, bad sticks, articulate MCs are rare. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Mike D, back with another video. Um, today I'm gonna introduce you to my wife, the lovely Stephanie D. Oh, that's my wife. Um, today we're going to answer some questions and we're going to eat some tacos and sip some margaritas. And these are a different type of uh, taco. The wife cooked these up and she's going to explain that to you guys now, what they are. Well, I, as of June 6, 2018, yep. stopped eating animal protein. And I've been slowly introducing Mike D into different types of plant-based protein. So this will be his first time trying the Beyond Meat Crumbles in his tacos. Normally I have to make two different types, mine and then his with the regular yeah, ground beef. Yeah, yeah. So I said to him, just try it. You'll like it. I swear <laughs> you won't you won't taste a difference. So I'm curious. this will be his reaction too on the Beyond Beef Meat Crumbles, which I love. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. And along the way, we're going to answer some questions. Well, she wants me to answer questions. Um, kind of get to know me, but I think it should be getting to know us because we're going to do more of these videos together. So, um, let's get into it. All right. All right. Uh, you want to take yours? Yep. I'm going to get one of mine. Oh, so we also have two different types of tacos. One with, well, taco shells. The one is the regular taco shell, and then we also have... Taco shell with a hint of lime, That's which are lime. actually, yeah, this is my favorite one yeah, right I want here. that one too. Don't eat all of those. Mm -hmm. Eat the regular. No, oh, I want lime. Crazy. Lime. Whatever. All right, so, is this recording? Yes, it is. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, I see. <laughs> all right, so, I have the questions here that he sent me that I'm going to ask him and see how well he can answer these questions after all these years. Right, right. Eastus. All right. Eastus. Question number one. Dum, dum, dum. How and where did we meet? How and where? Uh, we met. Here you go, honey. Thank you. We met at. Um, I was working a summer job in the city of Albany, and I got transferred to the Albany High School Library. And 1996. I'm kind of dating myself now. Um, 1996 at the Albany High School I was working at the book library and uh, I had asked one of my friends to introduce me to her since he knew her and that was it she fell in love from day one <laughs> yeah. All right. what was your first impression of me? honestly I was honestly kind of intimidated. I was really? kind of, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah beautiful. I some lime from here. I also have. What's that? Salsa. Salsa. Mm hmm. And diced jalapenos because I love spicy food. I'm about to put some of that on mine. <laughs> I'm sorry. My first impression? Mm hmm. Uh, very confident woman. And uh, you were, like I said, kind of intimidating. I didn't know how to kind of approach you, so I had to have my friend do it. I had to weasel <laughs> my way into it. So weasel your way into it. Mm -hmm. mm. No, mm. but it worked. It worked. It worked. How many years later? That question not even on the list. Well, since we met her, then we were married. Cheers. Since we met. Uh, it'll be 23 in June. Yeah. It will. You're right. 23 years later. Yep. 23, 23 years in June. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's mm -hmm. This is peach, white peach margarita. And it was a light. And I added a little extra tequila because sometimes mm -hmm. they're not as margarita y as you want them to be. So then I salted, well, sugared. I'm sorry, this is a sugared rim with the green sugar. Can I say one thing? Yes. These are amazing. I'm sorry, how are they? The they're meat, good, right? 
The meat, yeah. You can't even tell. You can't tell? You can't tell. So you like me? So that's it? I don't have to buy any more nope. ground beef? These are perfect. I hold them. These are, these are delicious. Look, I season them up. Look. Like, mm hmm What do you think about the texture? Comparable? Yeah. To regular ground yep. beef or turkey? Yep, it's very similar. Mm-hmm. Very similar. Mm hmm Yeah, there's nothing that... If you didn't know, you wouldn't know. Mm-hmm. You know? So I could have just snuck them on you. You could have been doing this a long time ago. Mm-hmm. He would never know. Ah, right, yeah. I'll take this one. Well, don't eat all my long ones. Who said they're all yours? I like them. All right. So I'll have this one. <laughs> I'm joking. Right, can you give me one of the bootleg ones? That's not bootleg. And it doesn't even stand up by itself. <laughs> it's got the round bottom. It doesn't have the flat bottom like the line ones do. So it's going to fall over the place. The line ones are fancy. Mm. That's one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, listen. What do you got? How and where was our first date? Oh, that's easy. Mm -hmm. That's easy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Give me all easy ones. I need more sour cream. Look, no, I wish I had more sour cream. It was. The Madison Theater in Albany. Mm-hmm. Mm. I know what movie it was. What movie was it? Independence Day. It was. Part number one, like the original. Yeah. Nope. The original Independence Day. With Vivica Pop. Yep. Got snuck in that hand after a while. That arm around the shoulder. I did it smooth, too. <laughs> I did it so smooth. Mm -hmm. You had no idea. I had no idea. No. Nope. What I was in for? You had no idea it was a wrap for you. That was a long time ago, too. I should back sometimes and think about like all the years yeah. and yeah. all the changes yep. that we've gone through. Oh, yeah. How many have you eaten so far? This is my second one. Oh, this is my second one. And I'm say, <clears throat> I like the other shells a lot better. Which ones? The regular, the regular the line, shells? No, oh, the, the lime. Yeah, the that's why I told you don't eat them. Way better. So look, here. I chopped up limes, right? Put some lime on that one. There you go. They're not the same. Don't. Just, they are. <laughs> you're not going to eat more than two anyway. I'm eating like five. No, you're not. I am not. You're going to eat two before. And then that's it. I can eat. You can't. Yeah, okay. Your eyes are always bigger than your stomach. Mm. So. Okay. Next question. How did you know I was the one? <laughs> the one. Hmm. I want more sour cream. I don't know if there was an actual defining moment mm -hmm. when you were figuring that you were the one I think it was just it came over time when we started you know, just we're together for so long and we started just gelling mm -hmm. that's how you know just felt right it was right that's the thing. you know what I mean it felt mm -hmm. right like and we were like even though we were boyfriend and girlfriend or yeah it's so hard to say boyfriend and girlfriend now has been married for so long yeah that we were such good friends. Yep. Like, we were such good friends when we were boyfriend and girlfriend. Mm hmm I think that's very important. I think that's the basis for any relationship. Mm -hmm. You want to be... We should be best friends before anything. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? You guys like a lot of the same stuff. You do a lot of the same stuff. You have... Common, a lot of the same interests. Common interests mm -hmm. with them. But we also have... Our own minds yep. and stuff too. Yep. Yep. Where it's not everything is the same, but it's enough like common, like yeah, middle ground. You have I guess. to have your own personal time to kind of decompress sometimes and, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know think for yourself and stuff like that. But there's things that we do share, you know, jets and mm -hmm. you know we watch that all the time. And, mm. and we're good rivals. Like our rivalries are awesome. Like you with North Carolina and me with Duke. Go Blue but, Devils. Whatever. Duke sucks. But you, it's healthy rivalry. You just go against me. I don't. Huh. Anything just to go against me. No, it can make it healthy. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm taking this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a lime. How do you lime it up? What's my second one? What is that? Oh. Regular color one. Oh, there you go. Oh, What? Strong? The extra. A little bit. A little extra. Ooh. Ooh, a little bit. If you want to make it, make it right. Yeah. We don't need a whole bunch of those, though. Mm -mm. We'll make you right. Mm -hmm. All right. So. What else you got for me? Mm. Let's get a couple more of these in. Okay. Huh. So, we do plan on bringing some more of these videos and doing kind of like some food challenges, some spicy challenges, um, those kind of things. So, you know, some reactions to food. And I'm not a big, huge, spicy food person. So, it's going to be quite hilarious to watch me suffer in pain. He can't taste any spicy. We, were try we actually went to the Asian market to get the, the two and four times spicy noodles. And we thought we had them. And come to find Sorry. out, <laughs> come to find out they were just uh, plain spicy ones. And I had a pack of them on Friday night and I literally almost was cried, dying. almost cried the whole time, almost cried the whole time. So she's talking about the toe of Satan and the mm -hmm. hottest chip and all this stuff. And all right, I don't know. What do you love about me? Well, I love about you. Mm -hmm. Alright, what well, don't you love? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no. What do you love about him? Um, um, the personality, your um, your your loyalty, your your commitment to being my partner, all that kind of stuff. I love everything like that about you. Mm -hmm. You know, you're genuinely a good person. You. You're generally a good person. I try. And you don't Seriously. find that. It's hard to find in people nowadays, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. To find a, a really genuine person who's going to be with you through thick and thin. And, and you guys who are back to back fighting against everybody else just trying to make your mark, you know. So, yeah, that's, that's what I can say. And I told you, <clears throat> everything that I say or do is ever <laughs> greedy. Yeah. And because and I can eat. Yeah, and she can eat. You said I can't eat, but a while ago. Yeah. You said I could Now, I polished for like two. Wait, was that two? That was two. That was two. What time? I'm on number three. I told you, anything that I ever say and do is always for your best interest. Always. Yep. Yeah. And I'll still mm -hmm. complain and bitch and moan and okay. fight back until I realize that what you're saying is right. Mm -hmm. All the time. And it works out in the end. When you listen to me. Yep. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, these are absolutely dynamite. They are. So you like the... Yeah, they are dynamite. You guys get a chance, try this, switch it up. Just try it. Yeah, try it's it. It's not it won't hurt. hurt. Yeah, especially with the seasoning, that, try. The seasoning that's in there, you mm -hmm. won't even know. Yeah. I are. bought the, um, instead of buying like the packet of the taco meat, I just bought the entire jar because we love tacos anyway. Oh. So oh. that packet don't last us very long because we have two boys in the house. And our granddaughter's here this our granddaughter, weekend. Yeah. So we have one that doesn't live here anymore. No. <clears throat> oh, I said it like like we kicked him out. I mean, because yeah. he's too old. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> no. Twenty four on his own. Twenty four and on his own. That's fine. So when we buy, we have to buy like Sam's Club, BJ's, because no. it's just me with three hu hubby and then two big what? Four. Teenage. He'll be fifteen. Yeah. In less than a month, and another one's 17. So, I got a lot. A lot. You feel that? That's how much fun. Well, you ain't gonna finish it. I am. I'm a beast. You're not. I bet you don't finish that thing. I'm a beast. What key elements make a successful relationship in marriage? Oh, wait, I guess I should ask. I mean, yeah, I'm asking. You said we met in June of 1996. Mm -hmm. When did we get married? Ah, uh, jeez, why you put me on the spot? October 27th, 2001. Oh, okay. Oh, I got my dates in order. 
You probably got it written down over there for him. Whatever. I got my dates in order. Mm. It was right after the birth of our first son together. Mm -hmm. You know, we decided, hey, let's make this official. So, you made it official because I had a baby? Yeah. I had to make an honest woman out of you. I'm joking. But when you were saying about. <laughs> give me that look. <laughs> What are you saying? What are the keys to a successful relationship? Mm -hmm. What are the keys to a successful relationship and marriage? And let me tell you, it ain't all been freaking perfect. So, no. I think um, there's a lot of different things that you can say are, are important. But I think the number one, the number one key would be communication. That's, I think, mm -hmm. first and foremost. Mm -hmm. If you don't talk and you're not talking, if somebody's not doing something right or something's not going right in a relationship and you don't speak up or say anything about it, that person's not going to know that they're doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. So you have to talk it and let each other know. Like, we'll do mental check-ins every now and then. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, how's everything going? What are you yep. feeling? What's how's going it? on? Right. Well, hey, you're asking, you know, you're doing this. You mm -hmm. need to cut this out mm -hmm. and slow down on this and do this more. Yeah. So I think that's key. Yeah, definitely. I do like our mental check-ins, too. Hmm. Mental and kind of, I don't want to say physical, but like, we literally like, okay, it's time to like sit down and yeah. and say, okay, what are the things that have been bothering you? Yeah. What did I do to contribute to it? Okay. Like, yeah, like what would I, what can I do without changing the other person too? Like, mm -hmm. you don't want to change that person because they should be able to be themselves. But at the same time, it's all about that compromise. So you find this like happy medium. All right, guys. Well, we're going to end this video off. Um, this is first of more to come. Um, this is getting our feet wet, getting our first one in, and seeing how this works. Um, put some comments in the bottom if you guys have tried this alternative, what you think about it. Um, again, it is Beyond Meat. Right? Beyond Meat. Yeah. Beyond Meat. Um, check that out and let us know what you think of it. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Me and this lovely woman will do be more, doing more videos. Um, and on that note, we are out of here. You got anything else to say? Full. Just eat more. Full. I told you you'd be full. <laughs> but I was trying to get full. Yeah. All Thanks, right. guys. We will talk to you guys later. We'll get another video in, and we'll see you then. Peace. Peace.